Welcome everyone to JavaScript Programming Language course for beginners. We will be learning the basics of JavaScript in this entire course. Although it is aimed at complete beginners to the subject, it is assumed that you have some knowledge of HTML and a little CSS. You don't have to be an expert though, just the basics will do. JavaScript is also one of the most popular programming languages on the web. It is used in millions of web pages to add functionality, validate forms, detect browsers, and much more. You don't need to buy any software for this course. You probably already have everything you need to get started. The source and reference are also included in this slide. Coming up next are the ESLRs. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs, and these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. The intent of this video is to introduce JavaScript cores. In the next slide, we'll be able to figure out what JavaScript is all about. So what is JavaScript? JavaScript is a scripting language. It is lightweight programming language. It is also an interpreted language and not compiled. It is an object-oriented programming language, or known as OOP. It is usually embedded directly into HTML pages, and last but not the least, JavaScript is not Java, so please take note of that. By using JavaScript in your web pages, you can gain more control of how the page looks and behaves. These functionalities include document elements that can be inspected, form elements are validated before the contents are sent, and browser details check. Cookies set as well, dates and times can be added to the page, and even simple games can be added to a web page all with a scripting language. All the scripts in these pages have been tested and are available with most of the modern versions of browsers, such as Firefox, Safari, Chrome, and many more. So if you're ready, let's make a start. JavaScript can be used to make web pages dynamic, react to events, validate data, create cookies, and detect browser information. The following are important things to know when coding with JavaScript. JavaScript is case sensitive. Therefore, ensure the capitalization is correct for variable and function names. A variable name my index is not the same as my index. You notice there, that's a capital index and, capi and lowercase i. They are not the same. Next is the semicolon. Although JavaScript interpreter automatically adds semicolon to the end of most lines, it is best practice to add them when writing JavaScript to avoid strange side effects when the interpreter does it automatically. Third is the white space and new lines. Most white space such as spaces, tabs, and empty lines is ignored by the JavaScript interpreter. In general, it is best to use white space when coding JavaScript to aid readability. So these are these lines are equivalent slash less. Um, x equals string is equivalent to x space equals space string. So these are just the same. Fourth is breaking a line of code. Long lines of code can be broken up with a backslash character as long as it is within a text string. 
an example is shown below. So we have document that write hello from JavaScript. So that's an example there for breaking a line of code or take note of the backslash character. Fifth are reserved words. JavaScript reserves certain words for specific uses. The following list are JavaScript reserved words. So please make sure to familiarize all of them. So those are the few important tips and guidelines of JavaScript. We'll, we'll review them very quickly in the next. First is about case sensitivity. Second is semicolon. Next is white space and new lines. Fourth is breaking a line and reserve words. These are important things to know when coding with JavaScript. In the next slide is the JavaScript statistics. So JavaScript is a registered trademark of Oracle Corporation. JavaScript was originally created by Brendan H. of Netscape in 1995. JavaScript's form, formal name is ECMA script, and that's actually governed by the Euro European Computer Manufacturers Association, or ECMA, which published, published the fifth edition of the language in December 2009. So the latest stable version is 1.8.5 and that is as of March 22, 2011. In the next slide, we'll you'll be able to see our class today. For today's classwork, please use the internet to search and read more about what JavaScript is all about. Before I will end this video, I hope that you learned something about the introduction of JavaScript. In the next video, we'll talk about the Google Chrome console. Lastly, thank you for watching this video.